We're looking at the same code we left off with in 4.1, but now we're going to look at the flow of execution. And this does jump around. It always starts in your public static void main on the first line right here. And then it goes to the second line. Now this is the method three line. So it's going to run up to here. And in order to see that, what we're going to do is right click over here on line 19. And we're going to put a breakpoint right here. Toggle line breakpoint. You can also go up to the debug menu and toggle line breakpoints control F8. And you can toggle it on and off. I'm also going to put a breakpoint up here. And you can run it normally and the breakpoints won't matter. Or you can do the next one over, which is called uh, debug the project. So you'll run it in debug mode. And we'll about to see what happens here. Uh, let's go ahead and put a breakpoint. So we got the first line. You can only do breakpoints on statements that end in a semicolon. So you can't uh, make line 14 a breakpoint or line 24. Uh, you can only do it in statements that always end in a semicolon. All right, so we're going to hit the uh, run debug. And it's going to pause every time it hits a breakpoint here. And there's a couple of choices of how we want to proceed here. If you do step over, what it's going to do is skip to the next line. And this next line is called three line. Now, if I hit step over again, we know that three line is going to print out, or it's going to run a new line three times in a row. I'm going to hit step over. And you're going to see that it basically just skips it. Uh, oh, it goes it goes up here into the uh, th because I put another breakpoint here, and then I'll do uh, skip over. Now, where is it going to go? It's going to go up to new line. So this green line is a line that's currently running, and we'll do skip over, and so it comes back and runs the next new line, which jumps back up and then finishes. I'm just clicking right here on F8. You can also just press F8 on your keyboard. Now it's going to run the last new line, press F8, and then it's going to finish three line and come back to line 27 here, the one that's in green. And I'm just hit F8 again, and what's going to happen now, uh, it's going to call three line again, so we're going to see that whole thing proceed again, come back here to three line. Uh, now I do want to warn you, if you do uh, step into, actually I'll do that next, I'll just I'll just keep doing step over. The only reason it pauses at the first line of each method is because I put breakpoints right here, those three spots. Uh, and I did that on purpose so it would uh, go to every single method here one at a time and you can see the flow of execution as this green line jumps around. Now we're at the very last line and we're done. All right, I'm going to take out the control F8. Control F8 and we'll run it in debug again and I'm going to just keep hitting step over. Now step over doesn't go into the method, it just steps over it. So if you hit step over it doesn't no longer runs up here because I, I removed all those breakpoints. Uh, we can still get that functionality back without the breakpoints. Um, hit step over once. Now instead of step over we're going to go step in two. And that is going to go into the method you're calling. Now if I do step into again, it's going to go up to the new line method. Uh, and now I'm going to do step over, step over. Now in this new line, if I do step into, it's going to go back up to new line, step over, step over. Now if I hit step over here, it's no longer going to go all the way into new line. It's still going to run it, and I haven't really been paying attention to the output. That's also important. Uh, so we'll do step over. You'll see it prints hello, but it no longer goes up here. Uh, now I'll do step over again. Now if I do step into, it'll go into this method, but what I'm going to do is go step over. And it will run all that hello, 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 but doesn't actually go into here in the debugger. And let's go step into one more time. I'm going to do step into again. Now I want to warn you, if I do step into, this method is the print method, which we did not write. It comes with Java already. So if I hit step into, we're going to go to a completely different file where this method is defined. So let's go ahead and do it. And now what we're looking at is the actual system code right here of what println actually does. Not surprising, it prints and then does a new line. Uh, so I'll do step over. 
Now, you can keep drilling downwards and go step into, uh, so this is what the print is right here. It writes the value of a string. You can still go step into. There is a limit though. You can't go in forever. Uh, and now this is right, right here. And it looks like it's getting more complicated, not less. I do not expect you to understand all of this. Uh, this just gets into lower level code. Um, and we'll just keep going. Um, all right, now how do we get out of here? There's a few ways to get out. You can, of course, do the opposite of step into, uh, which is named step out. Um, and it comes back. So that's one way to recover. Uh, you can also, uh, you can hit stop if you're fed up. Uh, you can also just hit continue uh, and it will just go ahead and keep going. All right, so that's the debugger and how to trace uh, all the execution. I find it easiest to uh, just go ahead and mark these uh, for debugging. You can always just run your program normally and it ignores all the debug stuff or you can uh, just run it in the debugger and just keep hitting F8 and you get to see all the green jump around with the execution. And that uh, is very useful to understand this flow of execution right here, uh, which is all uh, 4.2. Uh, and we'll look at 4.3 next.